Welcome to Whispers in the Wind, Stories of True Crime. The Unsolved Mystery of the Ketty Cabin Murders. In the serene town of Ketty, nestled deep within the Sierra Nevada mountains of California, a chilling mystery unfolded that would leave the community forever scarred. The Ketty Cabin Murders, a gruesome and still unsolved crime, shook this peaceful enclave to its core. This true crime story delves into the dark events of that fateful night in April 1981, exploring the lives affected and the enduring quest for justice. Ketty, a tiny and tranquil community, was a place where people sought refuge from the chaos of urban life. In the heart of this picturesque town stood Cabin 28, a small, rustic home where the Sharp family had found temporary solace. Sue Sharp, a recently separated mother, had moved her three children, Dana, John, and Dana's friend, Dana Wingate, into Cabin 28 to escape her tumultuous past. On the night of April 11, 1981, the tranquility of Ketty was shattered. The Sharp family, along with Dana Wingate, were brutally attacked while they slept. The discovery of the crime scene the next morning was nothing short of nightmarish. Sue Sharp, her two children, and Dana Wingate had been bound, gagged, and bludgeoned to death. The cabin bore witness to unspeakable horrors. The gruesome murders of the Sharp family and Dana Wingate sent shockwaves through Ketty and beyond. Law enforcement launched a painstaking investigation, but progress was slow. The lack of physical evidence, viable suspects, and a motive left investigators baffled. Rumors and speculation ran rampant in the close-knit community. As the investigation unfolded, a cast of characters emerged as potential suspects. Marty Smart, a volatile figure, became a prime suspect due to his volatile nature and troubled past. His friend, John Bo Boubed, was also scrutinized. Several other local individuals came under suspicion, but the absence of concrete evidence hampered progress. The Ketty Cabin murders remained unsolved, leaving the community in a state of fear and distrust. The lack of closure weighed heavily on the victims' families, who endured years of frustration and pain. The case went cold, and the unsolved murders became a haunting presence in Ketty. Decades passed, but the memory of the Ketty cabin murders never faded. In 2013, the case regained momentum when new evidence and a renewed commitment from law enforcement brought fresh hope. Old evidence was re-examined using modern forensic techniques, and the case was reinvigorated. Despite the renewed efforts, justice remained elusive. The suspects who had once been on the radar either died or were no longer viable targets. The Ketty Cabin murders continued to cast a shadow over Ketty, leaving unanswered questions and a sense of lingering unease. The Ketty Cabin murders have had a lasting impact on the town of Ketty and the people involved. The unsolved nature of the case has haunted the community for over four decades, creating a climate of mistrust and unease. Families of the victims continue to seek closure, while the memory of that night remains etched in the collective memory of the town. The Ketty Cabin murders stand as a chilling testament to the enduring power of unsolved mysteries. In this picturesque town, where one would expect safety and serenity, a horrifying crime unfolded, leaving a trail of unanswered questions and shattered lives. The unresolved nature of the case serves as a haunting reminder that, in the darkest corners of tranquility, shadows may lurk, waiting to be uncovered and brought into the light. Until then, the Ketty Cabin murders remain a chilling enigma, casting shadows in the woods of Ketty. Thank you for joining me here at Whispers in the Wind. If you enjoy this channel, please like, share, and subscribe.